niya pa sa akin kung saan ko ngayon. So, this is Ecolastic One at your service. So, matagal na hindi nakapag-vlog ng nagsasalita. Normally, mga throwback pictures lang, especially of my uh, travels. So, isipan ko lang ulit na mag-vlog with voice para at least uh, may uh, dagdag na, <laughs> na minuto sa mga vlog na aking i-upload. So, uh, as uh, you noticed, especially sa inyo na patuloy na nanonood na aking mga ina-upload na vlogs, what I'm uh, showing or sharing with you are my uh, travels, local and international travels. So right now, yung mga susunod na mga i-upload ko na mga videos are uh, my uh, travel internationally. So uh, I'm starting with uh, my uh, Europe side trip tour, self-tour. Sa, uh, that is, uh, this happened after the World Youth Day back in 2016. So again, we are privileged na makasali, makajoin during the World Youth Day Poland. At syempre, sinamantala din namin yung pagkakataon na since na-issue na makan ng Shenzhen visa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. So because of that visa, eh, meron kami chance na makapag-ikot-ikot sa Euro. Kaya sinamantala namin yun. So after knowing na confirmed kami to attend the World Youth Day, eh, nagplano na rin kami sa mga side trip. So, Oh, at yung ilan sa mga kaibigan ko eh, we did it with our own research uh, self-tour or di uh, DIY do-it-yourself tour yun po yung ginawa namin so na po yung masipag na nag-search po yung mga, mga mag magagandang putahang mga lugar na hindi kailangan mag masyadong pagbiyahe or kung pagbiyahe man is by, by bus or by, by train so yun po yung aking uh, new research Salamat sa Google at uh, nagawa ko po yun ako ng issue ko yun. So, uh, at na-plot ko yung mga schedule na yun. So, uh, yung last video, uh, vlog uh, 70, uh, 72, vlog 72 po, eh, is our trip to Berlin, Germany. So, that is our first side trip after ng aming uh, World Youth Day. So, uh, as per my list, Nilis ako rin po kasi yung schedule. So yung World Youth Day, uh, including the days in diocese, so it happened from July 25, 2016 up to August 1st, 2016. Then August 2, eh, lumipad na kami. So that is by train to Berlin, Germany. So August, August 2, nag-ikot-ikot kami ng Berlin. So sumakay ng train and mostly naglakad kami para makita yung pagandaan ng Berlin. Then after Berlin, August 3, lumipad naman kami to uh, process Belgium. Uh, kung saan minit namin yung aking kaibigan, si uh, Che. So shout out to Che. I don't know if you're watching my vlogs. So uh, she's uh, staying in Brussels, Belgium. So nakilala ko po siya through YM, Yahoo Messenger, hanggang sa naging uh, close friends na kami. So yun, August 3, we went there. So sa gabi, actually, less than 5 hours lang ata kami nag-stay doon or less than 6 hours. Kaya uh, medyo limited yung time. Pero somehow, nagpunta kami sa city ng Brussels at nakita namin yung, I forgot, yung, yung maliit na bata na umiihi. <laughs> yun yung kilala sa Brussels, Belgium. So uh, again, that is uh, the next uh, vlog that I will be making, yung aming short tour sa Brussels then after Brussels which is August 3 and in the same day eh, nagpunta rin kami sa Paris, France so that is also in August 3 less than 10 hours lang ata kami so uh, ako po ay nag-solo flight na naglipot sa Paris, France so masarap lang yung pakiramdam na naglipot ka by yourself so ayun so that is August 4 uh, August 3 then after that, August 4, we went to Amsterdam, Netherlands. So, ako lang ulit yung solo <laughs> na bumiyahin ito. Uh, naglakad actually. So, uh, less than 3 hours or 2 hours. So, na, ang, ang, ang ginawa ko doon is yung kay Anne Frank, na very, uh, very known na tourist spot sa Amsterdam. So, I was fortunate to visit that area and you will see that sa vlog na aking iba, isi-share sa inyo in, uh, in a couple of days. 
then after that, August 4, Gipad ulit, papunta naman sa Munich, Germany. So I, I had uh, an opportunity to roam around Munich for a day. Naga naga avail kami ng bus tour. So kaya yun. So somehow, naikot namin ng Munich. Pero medyo struggle that time kasi umuulan sa lugar na yun at wala kaming payong. <laughs> So, kaya yun, yun yung naging struggle during that time. Pero syempre, sinumuntala namin yung pagkakataon kasi we only have one day, one day to stay there. So, naglibot kami around Munich. Then after that, August 6, by train, ay pumunta naman kami sa Salzburg. Uh, Salzburg, Austria or Salzburg, Germany? Kalimutan ko na kung alin nga pa sa dalawa. Pero yun nga, so Salzburg is very special to me because that is the location of the movie The Sound of Music. Kaya talaga nung nalaman ko na mag Europe, eh, isa yan sa ginawa ko na kailangan ko mapuntahan. So, kaya hindi ko po na nagpas yung pagkakataon. And uh, we went there and we also availed The Sound of Music tour. So, lahat po ng tour na ito ay through online lang po kami nag-book. And uh, please God, at okay naman at hindi naman kami na-scam. So after that wonderful experience in Salzburg at night, eh, nag-libot-libot kami at may na-discover kami na area doon na maganda pala yung lugar. So ayun, kasi akala namin, uh, eh, ano lang siya, yung very normal, typical province, pero may area kami na nilakad doon na pinuntahan na at doon namin nakita na, wow, maganda pala to kung magkaparatas, mataas na lugar siya eh. Parang bundok, pero sa likod ng bundok na yun, eh, yun, doon pala may magagandang lugar din doon. Tapos after Salzburg, that is August 6, August 7, we went to Vienna, Austria. So uh, we also availed uh, a bus tour in Vienna. At uh, maganda rin yung lugar na yun na napuntahan namin. Actually, itong pag-Europe tour namin, ang nangyari sa amin is parang nagvisita iglesia kami. Kasi yun yung, well, ako, yun talaga yung hinanap ko yung mga simbahan, uh, simbahan katoliko. At... Uh, Sinamantala yung pagkakataon ng mga pasok sa simbahan nila at makita yung pagandahan ng mga churches that we have here. So, yeah. so again, that is Vienna, August 7. Then August 8 to 10, we went to Rome in Vatican. So, yun nga. Uh, I am so privileged to have that opportunity. Sabi nga nila, bilang mga Kristiyano, merong dalawang uh, holy places na pwede mong mapuntahan. The first one is the Vatican and the second one is the Israel. At uh, ayun nga, I am so blessed to have an opportunity to visit and uh, visit those two holy places sa ating mga katoliko sa ating mga Christian. Then, after that, August 11, we went to uh, Florence and Pisa. So, uh, uh, yun po yung dalawang lugar na aming uh, pinuntahan. At uh, August 12, pabalik ng uh, bansang ito, Eh, nag-side trip kami sa Athens, Greece. So uh, again, we book the tour online. It's a special uh, special tour kasi we have our own parang hindi naman limousine pero pang mayamang, <laughs> pang malakas ang sasakyan yung nasakyan namin. At medyo mahal talaga yun kasi inabot natin. Ang, that is only uh, parang less than four hours. Four hours na, na road tour. Pero it uh, cost us around 500 uh, rials. So, medyo may kamahalan. Unlike the other tours that we had na less than 100 rials na, pero nagkawa namin mag-tour. Kaya yun, yung experience namin sa Athens, that is the most costly among our tours, pero worth it. <clears throat> so yun, so that's the entire Europe tour that we had. And all of these tours ay makikita niyo po sa mga susunod na vlogs. Ang gagawin ko is one, uh, one place per vlog para at least uh, hindi naman cramp up yung inyong nakikita. So yun, I think that's it for me for now. So again, let's watch all the vlogs na inyong makikita. And I hope that you'll enjoy as I also reminisce those uh, travels na aking uh, na-achieve in my life. So, praise God for that opportunity. So, enjoy po again and uh, stay lang po kayo sa vlog.
Toyon Nepo. So that is again my Europe tour back in 2016, a side trip after our World Youth Day experience in Poland. So uh, again, I hope that I can enjoy po kayo sa panonood ng mga pictures. Uh, unfortunately, hindi ako nakapagawa ng mga videos during that time kasi hindi ko pa alam yung vlogging that time, kaya mga pictures na. So shout out to Peter Irwin for lending me his uh, camera. Kaya maganda somehow yung mga cap na capture ng mga pictures. So ayun, so I think that's it for me now. So maraming maraming salamat for staying and for finishing the vlog. So again, this is Epilasticon and I will be ending this vlog. So to those who have not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe to Epilasticon. And don't forget to like, share, and comment to all my vlogs. And click on the notification bell so that you'll be updated with all my uploaded vlogs. So that's it for me now. So again, God bless to all of you. God bless to all the Valastics, Plastics, and Apple Sunday.